welcome my guys this is question 2.99 and the statement it has is suppose that the four inspectors at a film factory are supposed to stamp the expiration date on each package of film at the end of the assembly line okay so here we have four inspectors and uh, in the given data let me write here the number of inspectors so this is first second third and fourth okay so these are the inspectors we are going to uh, see here okay so the first inspector here is john who stamps 20 percent of the packages okay so uh, the 20 percent of the packages are stamped by john okay so let me write here the first inspector as john okay and the probability of the stamping of john is how much that is 20% or writing it in the probabilities it would be 0.2 okay so as this is a first inspector so let me represent this stamping with s1 okay such that the probability of s1 is 0.2 uh, he fails to stamp the expiration date once in every 200 packages okay so uh, he has been failed Okay, so the probability of his failure in stamping the expiration date given that he has stamped is how much that would be 1 over 200 okay so 1 over 200 let me calculate it so it would be how much it would be 0 0.005 okay so this is what this is the probability uh, or the conditional probability which has been given here okay so similarly the second one here is tom who stamps 60 percent of packages okay so the second inspector is tom who stamps uh, the 60 percent of the packages so therefore let me represent it with two such that the probability of the stamping of the second inspector is how much that is 60 percent or 0 0.6 and similarly with it uh, it is given that he fails to stamp the expiration date once in every 100 packages okay so that now writing it like probability of the failure such that he stamps okay this would be 1 over 100 okay and this is 0 0.01 okay. similarly in third one it is jeff so jeff who stamps 15 percent of the packages so the third one here is jeff okay and let me represent it with three such that the probability of the stamping of this third inspector is 15 percent so this is 0 0.15 okay so after it he fails to stamp the expiration date once in every 90 packages so now here probability of the failure in stamping the expiration packages is s3 it would be 1 over 90 so calculating the 1 over 90 i will get here 0 0.011 okay so this is what we wanted to find out and the fourth one here is pat okay who stamps five percent of the packages so pat is the fourth inspector and the probability of his stamping is as 4 and this would be 0 0.05 okay uh, and now uh, it is also given that he fails to stamp the expiration date once in every 200 packages so therefore the probability of the failure given that this is as 4 would be 1 or 200 so it would be 0 0.05 okay so this is all the given data which i have found out and this is the essence of the questions like this one that first of all you have to find the underlying concepts and you have to formulate the mathematical uh, equations or uh, given data in the form of the mathematical uh, variable such that you would know that what do you want to find out and what will be the strategy which you have to follow after this one okay so this is basically the overall data after it what do we have here if a customer complains that her package of film does not show the expiration date means the failure has already been occurred because no expiration date has been shown what is the probability that it was expected by 
the john okay so john is the uh, first inspector so therefore here the required data is what do I want to find out? I want to find out the probability that the stamping has been done by the first inspector given that it is failed and I want to find out this one. Okay. So, this is the overall uh, scenario of this question. So, let me solve it. So, in order to solve it, let me have here the solution and we can very easily say that in order to find this condition here what can I use here so let me write it here so if I want to find out this one so in by using the base theorem what can I write here here I can write probability of failure given the s1 multiplying it with the probability of s1 dividing it over the probability of the failure okay so this is what I want to find out and let me call equation a okay so let me have this equation a now in order to find it out do i know the values of these variables yes the first variable which is probability of f given s1 this is already given probability of s1 this is also given but we don't know the probability of the failure so let me write here the probability of the failure so in order to find it out let me move it somehow here okay so probability of the failure and in order to find it out i have to consider all the uh, situations which have been happening here and failure can also be occurred because of the inspector one two three four who has been uh, stamping incorrectly so therefore i have to consider all these situations so therefore it would be the probability of the failure such that stamping has been done by the inspector number one and what is the probability of the incorrect stamping or stamping of the inspector one similarly the probability of the failure given that stamping has been done by inspector number two and but what is the probability of stamping of the inspector two okay similarly the probability of the failure or uh, not stamping given that stamping has been done by the inspector number three multiplying it with the probability of the stamping by the inspector number three plus the probability of the failure uh, such that stamping has been done by the fourth inspector and what is the probability of the stamping by the fourth inspector okay so these are all the variables so i know their, their values so let me put them down and let me use this uh, let me use this one for their values so for this these two let me write their values which are here so 0 0.005 multiplied by what here i have to multiply with probability of s1 so here this s1 is 0 0.2 okay now with that probability of f given s2 so probability of f given s2 is 0 0.01 with it i have to multiply by probability of s2 which is 0 0.6 okay so here i will have 0 0.6 adding with it probability of f given s3 so this is 0 0.011 multiplying it with the 0 0.05 so 0 0.05 okay similarly the last one here is probability of f given s4 so this is 0. 0, 0.05 and multiplying it with the probability of s4 this is also 0 0.05 okay so now calculating them and then finding the solution of it what would i get here i would get 0 0.0089 okay. so this is what we have found out the value of probability of failure okay so this is the value I have found out now taking these values and putting them in equation number one so let me found this find this values so so probability of f given s1 is here probability of s1 is here so let me write these values so 0 0.005 multiplied by probability of s1 this is 0 0.2 and dividing it over the probability of f which is here 0 0.0089 
so now calculating 8 and at the end what would I get here the answer of 8 will be 0 0.1124 and this is what this is the solution of the question which I wanted to find out and this is the solution of the statement here that the probability of the stamping by John if the stamping is done incorrectly. Okay? So that's it for today in which we have seen the solution of question 2.99 and the essence of these type of questions is to first formulate the strategy by writing the required data okay and also the given data which is available in the statement forms and then formulate the mathematical strategy so that we can proceed towards the solution so that's it for today and i will see you in our upcoming video see you soon